Now, there are many libraries that you can use in Python. Unfortunately, most of them are not installed by default, so you have to install them separately. Now, this confused a lot of uh, new Python users, um, so I'm going to show you how to do this really, really easily. Now, the first thing, it's really important you have uh, maybe one of the latest versions of Python, um, 3.7 onwards, and that you followed my previous, previous tutorial on how to um, get Genie and Python working. So I'm going to show you how to get it started. So you go to um, the command prompt. So I'm just going to go down here and type in cmd. That gives me a command prompt. Once here, I can type in pip, install, and then type in pygame. Now, because I've already got pygame installed, um, this will just come back saying it's already installed, um, but yours will obviously go ahead and install it. If you get any error messages, for example, um, if it says command not found, that will normally mean that your um, pip or Python is not installed on the system path. Okay, what the system path is, is basically a list of um, uh, folders which Windows will look through in order to find that command. Now, um, if you install Python correctly, um, you can actually get the Python installed to actually put Python onto the path. Now, if you look at my previous video on how to install Python and Genie together, uh, you will find out how to do this. It's really easy, um, but it requires you to click a button when you install Python. Um, so if it's not working, again, like I said in my previous video, you've got two choices. Choice one is to manually edit the system path, which you can do, but it's a little complicated. Option two, quite simply, uninstall Python and install it again, but this time follow my tutorial and click on the Add to Path option at the bottom of the first screen. That's it.